got to communicate. It's my wife's word. But you have to learn how your spouse communicates. It took me two years of marriage to figure out my wife will never tell me to do anything around our home. She wants me to do something. She asks me a question. From that question, I'm supposed to stand there and figure out what it is she wants me to do. <laughs> Simple example. Say I leave a pair of my underwear in the middle of the bedroom floor, which frosts my wife. That's her favorite word. Someone will cut her off on the highway. Oh, that just frosts me. <laughs> and if I'm not frosting her, I'm driving her up a wall. That's another one. Kids will come in. Where's mom? She's up the wall with frostbite. That's all I know. And I believe she's had it. And you won't believe what put her there, son. It was that pair of underwear in the middle of the bedroom floor. You, my man, look at the most powerful pair of cotton in the world. Not only defies gravity, but it changes temperatures. And they're mine. So I leave my drawers in the middle of the room. Would my wife come to me and say to me, pick those up? Would she say it? No. Three words, pick those up. You know why she won't say it? Because that would be simple, direct, right to the point. Then I, her husband, would know exactly what she wants from me. I'd be able to process that information. Make a rational decision as to whether or not I could deliver her request. At that moment, we would be communicating at the highest human level. Through language. My wife will look at me, look at my underwear, and then ask me, Are those yours? I sure hope they are, otherwise I got a few questions in my own. What do you want? That is every man's question, ladies, right there. What do you want? What do you want? Quit talking in code and tell me what you want. If I have to tell you what I want, then it doesn't mean a whole lot to me now, does it? Just fluff. <laughs>